Last week I released a video focusing on the coasters that are flying under the radar and deserve to be talked about more. In that list, I only focused on the United States and its new additions. Well, in this video, I'm going to look at the rest of the world. This will include rides from Europe, Asia, and Australia. Sorry South America and Africa, nothing made it from those regions. This is going to be my top 5 coasters opening in 2021 throughout the world that deserve more hype. Let's get into it. Before I start the list, a little disclaimer. I don't know the exact hype in other countries, so this may not be the most accurate list. I'm going to try my best to make this as least biased as possible. I'm doing this by seeing how much the coasters are talked about on the internet, among other factors. Off of this, I think I got a pretty good list. With that being said, let's get into the first coaster on the list. Coming in at number 5, there is Namazu at Volcania in France. This is a smaller park receiving a very interesting coaster. Namazu is themed to earthquakes, very fitting for an adventure park based around volcanoes. It will be a low to the ground experience with drive tire launches, a perfect family coaster. To add a little bit of spice, it will feature a drop track. On paper, it seems really similar to 13 at Alton Towers. Weirdly enough, this coaster has a fraction of the hype that 13 got. While many say that 13 was way overhyped and marketed all wrong, this coaster is not getting nearly enough hype. You may have never heard of this park, but if you were in the area, it looks like Namazu would be a very good critic to stop and get. It looks like a great coaster that should be talked about way more in the community. Moving on to the number 4 spot, there is an Intamin multi-launch coaster coming to Movie World Germany. According to RCDB, it will be named Movie Park Studios and will be themed to a fictional movie studio tour, where the coaster goes from scene to scene. It will feature two LSM launches and a 360 degree turning table with a max speed of about 37 miles per hour. So maybe not the most exciting statistics, but many coasters have shown that it is not all about the layout, but more of the whole experience. If this is some sort of storytelling coaster like Escape from Gringotts at Universal Studios, I'm sure it will be great. It is obvious that Intamin has stolen the stage for new coasters in 2021. All of these new coasters are overshadowing these smaller but good additions. This new multi-dimension coaster definitely deserves more hype as it is one of those that is being overshadowed. At number 3 on the list, there is Mission Ferrari at Ferrari World in Abu Dhabi, UAE. This coaster was set to open many years ago, but has since been pushed back due to technical difficulties during construction and, of course, the pandemic. It was originally going to open in 2017, along with Turbo Track, an Intamin shuttle coaster. This delay makes it obvious why the coaster has lost hype over the years. Even with the delays, Mission Ferrari looks to be packing a major punch. It will feature multiple LSM launches and a couple of inversions. Along with that, it will have screens and special effects. That's pretty much all we know about the coaster. It is unknown what the storyline of the ride will be or what the complete layout looks like. If the park were to release an official concept, the hype would surely skyrocket. But with the recent history of the ride, it is unclear if it will open this year. If it does, it should be receiving a lot more hype. In addition to its crazy background, Mission Ferrari also has a sister coaster coming to Malaysia. It is named Alien vs Predator and will be opening at Genting Sky World in Malaysia. Ironically, the one in Malaysia has not seen the major amount of delays that Mission Ferrari has. This allows Alien vs Predator to receive a lot more hype than Mission Ferrari, even though not much is known about this coaster either. So since Alien vs Predator has been getting so much hype, Mission Ferrari should be getting at least the same amount, if not more. Coming in at the number 2 spot is Leviathan at SeaWorld Australia. This coaster will be filling a major hole in the coaster lineup. Currently, the park does not have a wooden coaster or an extreme coaster. This coaster is filling both as it is wood and will feature a height of 105 feet with a length of over 3,000 feet. On top of this, the trains have an amazing design. In my opinion, the trains on this coaster look better than the Giga Coaster Leviathan at Canada's Wonderland. And it wouldn't be an Australian coaster without having the last car spinning. Based on the concept art, Leviathan looks to have an amazing landscape to it as well. Comparing this to the recent Texas Stingray addition to another SeaWorld park, SeaWorld San Antonio, this looks like it could be just as good or even better. And let's not forget that this is only one part of a new area for the park, called the New Atlantis. Without a doubt, it will be a great addition to the park and should definitely be getting more hype from the public. Finally, coming in at the number one spot is Steel Typen at Dreamworld in Australia. This is yet another coaster in Australia. At first glance, this coaster looks like the typical mock rides creation. In fact, Steel Typen will be pretty much the same coaster as Blue Fire at Europa Park. This could be part of the reason why people are not buzzing as much about it. The coaster is close to a clone. It will feature almost 4,000 feet of track and four inversions. The thing that sets this coaster apart from others is that it will have a multi-launch with a vertical spike. And of course, just like Leviathan, its last car will be a spinning one. I think it's safe to say that this will be an amazing addition to Dream World and a bucket list coaster that deserves a lot more hype. So that does it for my top 5 world coasters opening in 2021 that deserve more hype. What coaster would you have liked to see on this list? Let me know in the comments below. If you liked the video, make sure to leave a like and subscribe if you're new. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.